All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukhakodash. We give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings, Shalom to the Most High's elect across the four winds of the earth. So, Brother Yagadah Lamar from GMS Houston, back with another lesson. And I just want to uh, briefly go into this article. All right, and I'm uh, be wise as possible and careful with uh, the choice of words that I use. All right, being that uh, Esau will snatch our videos down for speaking on certain things, of course. All right, but uh, Lord willing, there be some edification in this video. I just want to uh, bring out a couple things in this article and then uh, grab a quick scripture. Uh, so right here is off of ABC uh, News. It says fully vaccinated Americans can return to life without masks. CDC says. Kind of jump down. Uh, it's a quote. It says, uh, "While well, start up, it says the uh, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention has amended its guidance for fully vaccinated Americans, no longer recommending masks indoors or outdoors, including the crowd in crowds." CDC Director Rachel, uh, Raquel uh, Walensky announced. At the White House briefing Thursday, if you are fully vaccinated, you can do, you can start doing the things that you had stopped doing because of the pandemic. And this is how Esau's gonna roll out that uh, that uh, um, that extra energy to um, motivate people or get people to um, get vaccinated, man. Okay, all right. Because what's gonna happen, man? People are gonna that hungry for that normalcy man all right they want to go back to their so-called normal life they want to be able to do the things they was able to do pre uh c19 man okay so this is going to be a, a way to grab people into and, and force them into uh taking the vaccine all right it says walensky said announcing the sweeping change anyone who is fully uh vaccinated can participate in indoor or outdoor activities, large or small, without wearing a mask or, or physical distancing. All right, so let me jump down. I want to hit one key. Uh, kind of, as it says. It also comes after Walensky uh, faced criticism for the CDC being too slow to provide a, a path back to normalcy, which uh, for fully vaccinated people. All right, and this is the point, man. All right, Esau is gonna first. He's gonna uh, set it up as uh, okay. This is the only way you can get back to the norm or the normal life. All right, and then also what this is gonna do. This is gonna cause a division. All right, in America, man, because the people who are not vaccinated versus the ones that are are gonna be at odds, man. Okay, and this is this is uh, this is all set up by design. Esau wants that opposition. He wants that civil unrest in these streets, man. And this is one way to do it, man. Because you got, on one end you have people who are deadly afraid of the boogeyman now. All right, versus people who tired of Esau's bullshit and don't believe in it, man. Okay, but we understand that the, what this devil is doing, man. Okay, and we not we not swayed by it, man. We know that the Most High is making him do this, and nothing that this devil does is gonna uh, uh, benefit him, man. Okay, towards his new world order. All right, because ultimately, what we hoping to see come out of this, man, the mark of the beast is chip being implemented, man. Okay, so this devil needs to continue on with his little plans. All right, cause division and unrest. And, and force these people to enter chaos so you can come in with the order, man. Okay, so I want to grab this uh, one quick scripture. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, and what is his devices? His thoughts, his plans, all right, that he manifests because he has the power to do so, man. Okay, we see through the, uh, through the witchcraft and the magic all right, and, and get down to the brass tacks of what's really going on, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. All right, don't get caught up in the hype, man. 
All right, continue praying to the Heavenly Father, man, for, for guidance and protection in these times to come. All right, uh, so once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukhakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, and peace and blessings to the Most High's elect. Shalom.